Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Yeah, welcome back everybody. Our sleep tight weather view takes us out to Clayton, Illinois in a pretty church and some pretty blue skies out there. Look at that. Crystal blue skies, very nice weather. If you haven't got outside yet today, I strongly recommend doing so. It's very comfortable, a little warm, but just fantastic weather out there. I'll take a look at our almanac here. Got up to 83 degrees officially here in Quincy. That is two degrees below our average. And you know, it wasn't that much cooler than we got to yesterday, but the humidity was significantly less. That makes it feel a lot different out there. It makes it feel much more comfortable and much more tolerable as you go outside. Our low today, 64 degrees, so right about where we're supposed to be for this time of year. Take a look at that allergy report. The mold spore count has gone down a little bit. It was way up towards the very high category yesterday. A little bit of weed pollen out there as well. That has gone up past the moderate category towards the high category as well. And yeah, a little grass pollen out there as well. We'll take a look at our Macomb Skycam. Very nice evening out there. 80 degrees officially. Dew point 61 degrees. That's about 10 degrees lower than where it was yesterday. And uh, yeah, definitely makes it feel comfortable. Our wind is from the north, and that is where our weather is coming from right now. We'll take a look across the viewing area. Everybody in the, well, Port Madison, you're at 79 degrees right now, but everyone else looks to be in the lower 80s. And the satellite and radar, yeah, really can't see too much, just maybe a few blips on the uh, satellite there. Just a few isolated clouds, no big deal. We'll have to zoom out really to find much of anything. The rain is well off to our east now, and we're not going to see the rain for the next few days. A couple things going on here. In the upper levels of our atmosphere, we have big high pressure sitting up over the southern plains. That's important, and just remember that as this begins to build. I'll show you what that means here in just a second, but as we go down to the surface, yeah, we got surface high pressure, and that means that we're gonna see some clear skies, and that will control our weather here for the next few days, meaning no chances for rain and very blue skies. As we continue through the next few days, really just gonna sit over our area uh, for the next few days or so, and again, that means dry conditions looking pretty good. But that upper level high pressure system I was talking about, that means warm weather is on the way here. We'll watch those temperatures build out to the west here. And you can see by tomorrow afternoon, talking about getting up into the 90s back to the western states. And by the time we get to Thursday afternoon, yeah, we could be talking about temperatures getting up into the mid 90s out west. Our neighbors across the state in Kansas City, 90 degrees. Eventually that heat will build to our east as that upper level high pressure really starts to take control across the, well, the central part of the country. So if you don't like the heat, that's the bad news. But the good news is we are not looking at rain here for at least a little while. For tonight, we'll get down into the upper or lower 60s, maybe to the north here, maybe the mid 60s to the south. High temperatures tonight or tomorrow. I <laughs> can't get my days and nights straight. 82 degrees out to the west tomorrow. Most of us will see lower 80s. Should be fantastic with lower humidity levels again tomorrow. The seven day forecast, look at this. Sunshine, sunshine, more sunshine. And how about a little more sunshine? Especially for our due days on Thursday. We'll get up into the low to mid 80s by our due days on Thursday. And then that's, that heat will start to really build in. I think we could easily see some 90s moving in here by the weekend. But it is still August, so we can't expect the heat to just go away that easily. And then eventually a cold front will come in by early next week. And that's going to bring our rain chances up, unfortunately. But... Lots of sunshine, looking fantastic, less humidity. I think it's going to be great to get outside on Thursday. It looks like, and mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. The search is over, and QND 